Well, hey everybody, it's Mike Shaw here, your Nightscape professor. And what I want to do is to show you how to use Photoshop to make a very, very simple time lapse just out of a series of JPEG files as I've done here for the sunset over the north shore of Lake Superior. So to begin with, all you really need to do other than to have Photoshop is to have a series of files that are sequentially numbered. So here we have uh, the first file is called clouds-1 in the sequence. It goes all the way down to clouds 234. There's 234 images in here. And you'll see that there's nothing else in this folder. There's a folder called demo. Just these, uh, the sequence of image files. And again, to emphasize, I've just um, renumbered them starting from one all the way through to the end. So once we've got that, all we need to do then is to come over to here to Photoshop. And then we go to the file and then we go to open. We just click on this once. And then we simply come over to our, our folder, which is called demo again, and we simply click once on the first file in the sequence. I'm going to click once on the clouds-1 file, so click. I'm not opening this. If I double-clicked on it, it would open up in Photoshop, and I don't want that in this case. Then I come down to where it says options, look here in the lower left-hand corner. I click on that. And then you'll see this image sequence option, and that's what we want. So we're going to click on that. And when we do that, we're really telling Photoshop that, hey, look, this is an image sequence we want to convert into a time-lapse video, and that's the trick to doing this. So we do that. We click on Open, like so. Uh, Photoshop then says, okay, well, Mike, what uh, frame rate would you like your time-lapse to play back at? And I said, like, 24 frames a second sounds pretty good. You can go all the way up to 60, all the way down to 10, or some other number. We're going to go with 24, so I'm going to click on OK. And then you'll see here that Photoshop opens up a new file. It's called Untitled. It's not called Clouds-1. It's called Untitled because this now represents the entire sequence of images, which is, as I say, going to be a time lapse. All we need, we could save that if we wanted to. I don't really need to here. Come up here under File, Export, and then Render Video. Boom! Bam! There we go. Boom! Render Video. Look at that. This is Photoshop. We're rendering a video out of Photoshop. Click on that. And then we get the render video pop-up window, which has all kinds of cool things. So we're going to um, give this a, a new name. So let's call this um, Cloudy Demo uh, Time Lapse TL. And I'm going to keep that on the desktop. You can change the, you know, if you want to be QuickTime or this H.264, you can change it if you want to change the quality, HD, not HD, standard definition, Vimeo, uh, whatever you like. I'm just going to go with a high quality here. You can change the size and uh, the frame rate again if you if you so choose. And then we're good to go. So we're just going to click on the render button up here. See where it says render. So I'm going to click on that. Click. And then we have a pop-up window that uh, this little process takes some time. So we're going to hit pause here in a moment and then come back to it when it's done. But this is the process where Photoshop is animating the still images into the time-lapse video. All right. So we're going to hit pause here and then I'll check back in with you when we're done. And then we just... Uh, enjoy our new time-lapse video. So see you in just a bit. Well, okay, we're back and the uh, process is completed. And so we're going to, we're basically done with this untitled image so we can minimize the Photoshop window. Come over here to our desktop and bam, here it is, the cloudy demo time-lapse video. As promised, this is an MP4 file, so we can just double click on it, open it up in QuickTime. And there we go, folks, or we just hit play and enjoy our new time-lapse video. So I hope you found that to be useful. As I can said, it's super easy. All you need is a numbered sequence of images in Photoshop, and you are good to go. So until next time, get out, look up, and shoot your night skies. Take care.